Okay, so today we're going to be talking about special right triangles. Um, and then we're going to get into right triangle stuff. We will look at a couple of things. We're leading into, ladies and gentlemen, we're leading into the uh, the tree functions of triangles in itself. So uh, what I want to do is do a review of stuff that you had just for today, stuff that you had in uh, geometry, because the uh, 45, 45, 90, and the 30, 60, 90 special right triangles are something that you can utilize, and we'll utilize some <coughs> in here in the tree portion, okay? So, especially when we get into unit circles and stuff like that. So, here we go. I have a right triangle. And that's 45 degrees, so the other missing angle is how much? Huh? 100? What's the other missing angle up there? 45. Hence at 45, 45, 90, guys. Okay? Now, what you learned in geometry in your 10th grade year was they were, I wouldn't say there's ratios, but <clears throat> there's understandings that you can shortcut the uh, stuff like having to do the Pythagorean theory. Okay? So if we had this leg and this leg to be one, if you were to do Pythagorean theorem on this, C squared equals 2, C equals the square root of 2. So your, your hypotenuse would be what? Square root of 2. Okay? You can take that relationship and you can use that to find missing links of 45, 45, 90. Okay? Now, what do I mean by missing links? <clears throat> if I want the hypotenuse, if I want the hypotenuse, all I have to do is take a leg times what? What would I need to do? Take the leg times what? Huh? No. If I want the hypotenuse, I take the leg and times it by square root of 2, right? Because the, the leg right now is 1. In order for me to get the square root of 2 out, I have to multiply by what? Square root of 2. Y'all remember this? This is 10th grade. This is a, going to be a review. If you don't write it down, it's going to be lost. Now, here's your hypotenuse. I should, do I need to label this? Or do y'all understand which one's the legs and which one's the legs? <coughs> <Lady. coughs> that's a leg. That's a leg. That's a what? Hypotenuse, right? Okay. Now, what would the equation be if I wanted a leg given a hypotenuse? Now, I'm going to give you that much. I'm going to give you about 30 seconds to figure out what you did. Yeah. Who's got something? Come on. Huh? Divide by what? Square root of 2. Now, we can do that. We're also going to show you, well, does it work? Well, let's try it. If the hypotenuse is square root of 2, square root of 2 over square root of 2 is what? 1. Okay, so that works. What can you never have left in the denominator? Huh? 
square roots, right? Square root period. That would be square roots, p roots, any kind of root cannot be left in the denominator, right? So we could leave it like that for just for a formula type basis, right? But if we wanted to, you may have seen this. You may have seen R hypotenuse times the square root of 2 over what? Over 2? Have you seen the hypotenuse times square root of 2 over 2? Let's see if that works. If I take the hypotenuse in this particular one, it's the square root of 2, right? So square root of 2 times square root of 2 is what? Square root of 4. What's the square root of 4? 2. 2 over 2 is what? 1. Now, how did I go from this equation over to that equation? All I did was rationalize the denominator, multiply top and bottom by square root of 2, right? That's all I did. Y'all remember that from algebra 2, right? So these formulas right here are what you need in order to help yourself if you're given a 45, 45, 90 triangle, right? So what I need for you to do, if you look at problem number 1, it is that front page is special right triangles, right? 45, 45, 90. Back page is 30, 69, right? So we're going to look at the front. I need you to work on number one. I need you to fill in the missing sides, right? Using these formulas. So if you don't have these formulas written down, they're about to disappear. I'm going to give you you 45 seconds to, uh, to work at problem number one, okay? All right, folks. Uh, first things first, we need to identify what is the given information. Who is being given? A leg, right? We got a leg. It's equal to three. All right, so we need the hypotenuse, and we need the other leg, right? Well, the other leg, because it's a 45, 45, 90, that means if this is 3, this is what? All right, so V is 3. Now, if I need the hypotenuse, that is the leg times the square root of what? Right? How do you remember formulas? Write them down. You, if you'll write them down every time you go to work, it, it'll be there because you're doing something with it. The leg is 3. 3 times square root of 2 is... Three squares to two, ladies and gentlemen. Questions? Okay, so you come back to you. This is all 10th grade stuff, right? It's just a review to get you back up because we're going to hit the unit circle. We're going to get into the trig this week. Okay, so I need some underlying skills to be kind of fresh. That's what we're doing. Questions on this one? You good? Do number two. You have 30 seconds, please. Find both information, both missing sides. Okay. What information is given, guys? A leg. So if that's 4 square root of 2, this one is what? Any questions? The two legs form the 90 degree angle, right? Yes? And right across from it is good old hypotenuse. Now, hypotenuse is what? The leg times the square root of 2, correct? So the leg is 4 square root of 2 times square root of 2. So that's 4 square root of 4, which is 4 times 2, which is what? 8. Now, that's a lot of work. I wrote down just about every step, right? But you got to recognize how do you multiply the radical? Outside, outside, inside, to inside, right? Yeah, you, yeah, I know. You, most of y'all will put it in your calculator. But that's 4 times 1 is 4. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4. So take this time with little, little things like that, kind of bring back up, right? Any questions on this one? 
Now, we're going to work another one. Work another tube. I want to work another tube that you're given a hypotenuse and need to solve for a leg. So, which one? Four. Okay. So, work on number four. And we will uh, we'll do that. Number four. Okay. You're given a hypotenuse, right? Hypotenuse is six. Now, we need to find a leg. Once we find one, we've got the other because the legs ought to be the same. Anybody tell me why the legs are going to be the same? Yeah, you can't say because it's 45, 48. You need to give me a little bit more mathematical meaning besides that. Come on. Why? Huh? Say, say a little bit louder. I'm, I'm hearing near like this. Go. Come on. What do you mean to have the same angle? Huh? Yeah, they make 90s, but. What is the relationship between angles and sides? No. You got two angles the same? You got two sides the same, right? Y'all remember that? Y'all? There's a relationship. It's like an equilateral triangle. All three sides are the same. Therefore, all three angles are the same. So on this one, I need to find a leg, right? So what, what equation did you use? Did you do the hypotenuse divided by square root of 2? Or did you do the hypotenuse times the square root of 2 over 2? This one will leave you a little less work. Okay. Um, this one, if you put it in your calculator, it'll rationalize for you, right? That means it will leave you without a uh, radical in the denominator. So, um, 6 squared is 2 or 6 squared 2 over 2, which is 3 squared to what? 2? On this one, you would have to rationalize, right? So you'd have to do square root 2 and square root 2, and that would still leave you 6 square root 2 over 2, which is who? Did you get 3 square root 2? Yeah. Yes. So you can do it by this one, but you may have to rationalize if you're doing it by hand. I like that equation if you, because it's already rationalized for you. The radical is not going to be in the denominator. Okay. You know, the problem I'm doing on the calculator, it does it for me. Okay. Pick another one on that page, front page. Another one's got all hot news. Huh? One that you think you're going to have trouble with. Come on. Ten? That's the only other one? Okay. All right. But, huh? All right. All right. You choose which ones. Five, six, or ten. Come on. Ten? Okay, ten it is. Go. All right, so here we go. What what side information is given, guys? Hypotenuse. So we got hypotenuse. It's seven squared to two. We need legs, right? So a leg is uh, hypotenuse times square root of two over two. So I'll go 7 squared to 2 times square root of 2 over 2. Guys, what's 7 squared to 2 times square root of 2? Nope. 7 times square root of 4 over 2, which is 7 times 2 over 2, which is 14. And 14 over 2 equals what? 7, right? Now, that's a whole lot of math. Yes, it is. Now, listen to me. You're going to step into a college classroom next year. And these skills that we're doing right here, this rationalizing, this, this stuff, you can do it on your calculator to do it for you. But you need to, to bring those skills back up and kind of get them fresh, right? It will benefit you, trust me. So, <clears throat> seven, and that's seven. 
Any questions? Huh? I could. I could have went 7 squared to 2 over square to 2, and that would have canceled. Okay, there's two equations that you can use to find the leg given a hypotenuse. One of them is taking the hypotenuse divided by square root of two, right? But your answer may be left, so you have to rationalize. Or you can use this one. Right? This one you don't have to rationalize. Maybe you have to do a little bit more work, but this depends on what you choose, right? But either way is okay. Now, let's look at, well, let's look at this. All right, next thing. Thirty, sixty, ninety. 90. Y'all ready? <sighs> okay. So let's make this 30 degrees up here. If we make that 30 degrees, then the other one is what? 60. So I'm going to do this, and you're just going, for sake of uh, time, the ratios are this. This is the short leg. This is the long leg. And this is the hot use, right? Okay, so if I make the short leg one, the long leg two, the hypotenuse has to be what? Square root of three, right? Now, let me back up. I just messed that up. Huh? It'd be, uh, this one would be square root of what? And that would be what? Two. There. Right. And so you just do one, two, square root of three. Uh, short leg one, long leg square root of three. I'll pop these two. Okay. Any questions on that one? So let's write formulas. Y'all ready? Would it be three different formulas? Could be, could. Yeah. All right, so what? which one do you want to start first? You want the hypotenuse? Okay. You ready? Hypotenuse equals short leg times two. It's just double the short leg, right? Hypotenuse is short leg times two. Right? <laughs> you want short leg now? You ready? Short leg is what? Hypotenuse divided by two. So they just gonna give you, they give you short leg, you can automatically find the long leg, right? Oh, not long leg, the hypotenuse, right? If you got the hypotenuse, you can find the short leg, right? So those, that's a two to one ratio, right? Okay, now, whew, long leg. This is where it's gonna get crazy. Y'all ready? Long leg is short leg times would you ever go from the hypotenuse to the long leg? Yes or no? No? What do you mean I could? If I'm given the short leg, would I find the hypotenuse and then go from the hypotenuse to long? Do we need to write long leg equals hypotenuse sub? Yes or no? Yes. 
No. If you if I'm given the long leg, then the, ooh, what if I ooh, what if I am given the long leg? What are we going to do? We find a short uh short leg, right? Correct. So we got hypotenuse, short leg times two, short legs hypotenuse divided by two. Long leg is short leg times square three. What if let's do this? This is pretty cool. Let's do a uh, short leg. Equals uh, long leg divided by what? Be, it would be the square root of three, right? But we could say R, we could say. Three times the long leg. Wait, not three. Sorry, I'll get it right in a second. What? Huh? Why well, am I mixing you up? I'm just rationalizing in my head, which is. Huh? I just put three in the wrong place. There you go. If you multiply top and bottom by square root of three, you get long way times square root of three divided by three, right? Yeah. Now, look at that right there. See those four things? You need to tattoo those to the back of your eyelids. Yeah, they, they, yeah, it works great. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, most important thing, how do I find what side goes with what angle? Because you're either going to be given a 30 or a 60, right? 30 or 60. Now, it's pretty simple. If you're given a 30, if you go to the side opposite of that angle, that's the one that belongs to <coughs> Side opposite. So if you draw a line to the side opposite of that, you go, well, how do I know what side it is? Well, the two rays that are formed in the 30 degree angle will intersect the side that it belongs to. So if you just follow it out, boom, you'll hit it, right? Yeah. There you go. Here to there. So you okay? What did I okay? I said you're gonna be given an angle you need to identify who the short leg is. You need to identify who the parts are, right? Short leg, long leg, all that stuff. Right? Yeah? So, how do I do that? You find the 30 degree angle and you just draw a line to the side opposite of that. Yeah? All right. Y'all ready to work one? Let's flip the page. Which one you want to do? Uh, first one? Number what? 11. All right. So here we go. Number 11. Oh, Lord. It's, that's crazy right there. Man. Why is that crazy? <coughs> Some of y'all scared right off the bat. Why y'all scared? They got fractions in it, they has got radical students like hyperventilating. <laughs> right? Y'all do this. Come on. I got faith in you. All right, go. Ladies and gentlemen, what is the information that's given? It's hypotenuse. The only thing it's given is hypotenuse. Man, what a way to sort out. Go big or go home, right? Yeah. Now, listen here. If I go side opposite of 60, that X is my long leg. My Y is my who? Short leg. Do you all understand that now? If you go ahead and identify that, it'd be great. Now, 
If I've got a hypotenuse, what equation did I give? I said the hypotenuse was the short leg times two, right? But we're giving it, so we can go short leg equals hypotenuse divided by two, right? Now what you did? That what I done right there. All right, good. Y'all ready? You know done, you did. Yeah, because that'd be grammatically correct, right? Okay. Now, listen. You can type this in on your calculator right there. Four square root of three over three divided by who? Two. How many of y'all can uh get that straight in your head and, and do the math on it without putting it in your calculator? Anybody? Yeah, for this one. Nobody? Somebody? Everybody? Nobody can do it? All right, stop, drop, look, listen. I'm going to show you a little go-to. So if a 46-year-old math teacher uses this go-to and has used this go-to for a lot of times in his life on these right here, then maybe you should too. Ready? This is 4 squared to 3 divided by 2, right? 4 squared to 3 over 3 divided by 2, right? I wrote it out long ways because there's a simple principle that they teach in third grade now that says keep, change, flip. Now, I can so know that this is going to be 4 squared to 3 over what? Six, but I know what happens with these right here, four and six. What do they do? They simplify, right? Simplify, right? Yeah, right. Simplify. All right. They become who? Two and what? So that would be two square roots of three over who? That's uh that's short leg, right? Yeah. Man, that's a lot of work for that, right? Hey, y'all want to see something real quick? This is pretty cool. <laughs> What's four divided by two? You know that rationalizing thing that we did? Like, you know, if you get that and have to do all this stuff, all that, yeah, that's kind of how that works. But anyway, so there, we got we got short leg. Now we need to find long leg, right? So if we got short leg, we find long leg. Because long leg is short leg times two. Woo, I love that one. Don't you? That's good stuff right there. So we got two square root three over three times square root three. That's good. What's two times square root three times square root three? Uh-uh. No. I, I'm just doing my numerator. I didn't say two square root three over three times square root three. What's square root of three times square root of three, guys? Square root of what? Nine. What's the square root of nine? Okay, so really that becomes two times three over what? Because three square root of three times square root of three will give you square root of nine, which is a perfect square root, which returns a three. What happens right here? Guys, I can say, oh, that's six over three, which is what? Two, right? So long legs two, or I could have done what? Cross that out, right? Either way. Booyah. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. How y'all doing right there now? They bring back un crazy memories of 10th grade, sophomore year. Okay. Pick one. Take a pick. Let's go. You want 16? Y'all like 16, Mama. We love 16. Let's do 16. Woo, Lord help us. At least it's not hot pot news, right? Are y'all getting all the hard ones done right now? Yeah, so you'll have hard ones that do for homework. Is that, is that y'all's plan? Huh? Maybe. Okay. All right, you got them. Yeah, I'm going to give you a minute. Go. Who do we have that's given? 
The long leg. How do you know it's the long leg? Because it's opposite of the hoop. No. It's opposite of what angle? The 60, right? So here's the long leg, here's the short leg, here's the hypotenuse. Man, I gotta go, uh, whew, I gotta find short leg donuts. Uh, short leg is long leg times square root of three over three, right? Correct? Yeah. yeah. Or I could just said long leg divided by square root of three, right? One is rationalized, one is not, right? Y'all understand this? Or long leg there, right? Either way is acceptable. One's been rationalized, one has not. And who should say, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Good. All right. So, which one of those versions do you want to use? I like I like the first one. Yeah, Me, I like the first one. Five square root of three over two times square root of three. That's a uh, over three, right? Woo we look at that. That right there is a hmm mess. What's square root of three times square root of three? Square root of nine. Which will lead me five times the square root of three over two divided by what? Three. So what's that's fifteen over two, right? Fifteen over two is seven and a half over three. What's that give me? They give me a crazy one. They give me a fraction. Yeah. Yeah. What's it give me? Really? All right. So they're saying this simplifies down. To They say that that's what that simplifies down to. Yes or no? We got people who said they got five. Yeah, I five. What? No, it's equals 2.5 and 2.5 is a fraction. 7.5 divided by three has got to be, it can't go whole. It goes 2.5 and 2.5 is a fraction. Yeah. No, I ain't got to look at it kind of like I know my head. Seven and a half, three. I'm going to the evening, so it can't be two. I know that beyond shout that gotta be a six or a nine, right? Six would be two, right? Five half, right? Oh, I gotta put two. <laughs> yep, yeah, what? How did I get what now? Okay, five times three is what? Because square root of three times square root of three is what? Square root of nine, which is nothing more than what? Three. So five times three is how much? Fifteen divided by two is how much? Seven point five, right? So I went ahead and done that, and then divided by three. Now, so that's five halves. So that has to be what? What's this right here have to be? Five. Why? Because the hypotenuse. Is short leg times two. Well, that's five halves times two, which is ten over two, which is five. Now, hey, okay. What do I need to do tonight? You need to finish both of these sheets because when we hit this on the unit circles and all this other stuff, and we use all this stuff, I'm gonna be like this. If you ain't done your prep work, you'll be dragging. Okay? Do your work. It does, it does the brain good. Work does the brain good, folks. Yes, ma'am.